you are in the preliminary cockpit preparation phase. To better illustrate what occurs in the pneumatic system, select the ECAM bleed page using the ECAM control panel. You are in the preliminary cockpit preparation phase. To better illustrate what occurs in the pneumatic system, select the ECAM bleed page using the ECAM control panel. The engine identification numbers are displayed amber because the engines are not running. The normal position of the bleed switch is the lights out position. This means the valves are automatically controlled by the pneumatic system. During the preliminary setup, the engine bleed valve should be in the fully closed position because the engines are shut down. On the ECAM bleed page, note that the bleed valves are cross line green because they are automatically closed. The high pressure valves are also automatically controlled by the system. They also are displayed cross line green to indicate that they are fully closed in the auto position. The bleed temperature is displayed in green. The bleed pressure is displayed in amber because there is no pressure supplied. The ground high pressure connection indication is always displayed in green when the aircraft is on the ground, whether the ground unit is connected or not. You also have to check that the cross bleed selector is in the auto position. Observe the indication on the ECAM. The cross bleed valve is displayed cross line green because it is automatically closed by the system. Since the APU bleed push button switch is selected off, the APU bleed valve is displayed cross line green, indicating that it is closed. Shortly before pushback, the APU will be started. The APU has already been started, but the bleed air must be switched on. Switch APU bleed on. Observe the indications. The APU bleed valve is displayed inline green, indicating it is now open. The left side bleed pressure and temperature are displayed in green because they are in normal range. The cross bleed valve is automatically opened. It is displayed amber during transit and inline green when fully open. and the right side bleed pressure and temperature are displayed in green. When the valve is open, the APU bleed memo is displayed on the engine warning display. Usually, APU bleed air is used for engine start. The pressure displayed on the bleed page is also indicated on the ECAM engine page, which will be explained in the engine chapter. Notice that the engine identification numbers have turned white, indicating that the engines are running. The engine bleed valves remain closed because the APU bleed valve is open and the APU has priority over the engine bleed. Now you may switch off the APU. 
Switch APU bleed off. Observe the ECAM. The APU bleed valve is closed. The cross bleed valve is automatically closed. It is displayed amber during transit. The engine bleed valves and high pressure valves are displayed in line green because they have been automatically opened. There is an automatic two minute time delay when the APU is shut down after bleed usage. We will now switch off the APU. Click on the APU master switch. With the APU master switch push button in the off position, the APU bleed valve is no longer displayed on the ECAM. If the APU should be inoperative for bleed air supply, a ground high pressure air unit can be connected to provide pneumatic pressure for engine start. The ground unit's pressure and temperature are indicated on the ECAM. Notice that in this case, the cross bleed valve remains closed with the cross bleed selector in auto position. In order to start engine two first, you have to set the cross bleed selector manually to open. This is done according to a procedure in the flight manual.